In any crowd, 90% of the people have tuberculosis germs in their body without knowing it. Without knowing it, many of them are likely to become chronic sufferers of this dread disease. Even worse, some of these unfortunate people may die as a result of its unseen activity. TB strikes silently. In nearly every case, people who have contracted it remain unaware of the sad fact that something is wrong with them until it becomes chronic. This young man looks healthy enough once his lungs were normal like this. Then the fifth column disease struck. Without knowing it, he had contracted TB. In his lungs there gathered the first dark signal of infection. As the disease gained, it ate more and more into the tissue of his lungs. The dark patch grew and spread and plundered his strength. Unknown to himself, he was seriously ill. With every breath he spread disease in his home, at the office, in the street. For the way of the TB sufferer is usually one of ignorance until revealed by medical science. We all begin life with healthy lungs. No one is born with TB, nor is it hereditary. Without any shadow of doubt, TB can only be caught from someone suffering from it. A perfectly healthy person can contact TB in almost any confined atmosphere, in a theater, a dance hall, in all badly ventilated buildings, or in the warm air of restaurants, even from dust rising from city pavement. No effort, money or equipment is spared in tracking down TB. Each day marks hours of patient research and investigation devoted to the sole cause of protection of human health. As long as TB persists as a danger to mankind, the FBI workers of medical science will hunt it down as public enemy number one, for there never was a more vicious wrecker of human lives. TB is merciless. Offense is the best defense. It's no good pulling a punch on TB. It's got to be knocked out and knocked out for good. The only way to knock it out is for everybody from the youngest to the oldest to make TB prevention an everyday part of their lives. Look at those TB pamphlets very, very carefully. They may save the life of someone near and dear to you. Everyone who loves his fellow men has heard of tuberculosis and will want to know more about it. No one knows when this enemy will make a victim of one of your family's circle. It must be realized that the wards of Australian sanatoria and chest hospitals will not be emptied until this menace of life and health is removed from the community forever. It would be pointless for doctors to go on fighting this disease or of healing and curing patients if life is not made safer for the cured people when they're ready to leave hospital. Whether life can be made safe or not depends on how much every person is prepared to carry out anti-TB measures into his or her own home life. Prevention begins on one's doorstep of one's home. Each home should be a fortress of the nation's health. No home can remain impregnable against TB if it is not guarded from careless hygiene within and without. Stop your home from becoming a breeding ground for TB by letting in life-saving fresh air and sunshine. The voice of science goes into many thousands of homes where also can go TB. When an anti-TB broadcast is on the air, it's easier to turn the dial to something you may consider more interesting. That is, if there is anything more interesting than your health or the health of those about you. We all know how easy it is to catch a common cold, how often that cold lingers. If it lingers long, it may be TB. Such cold should be regarded with suspicion. Some smokers' coughs prove to be TB. The so-called winter cough of the aged is more often than not TB. You can't be sure with the cough of any person who may be infecting healthy people and the food they eat. TB germs can survive in magazines, books and carpets. The germs are so small that they cannot be seen unless magnified 1,000 times. They thrive in the confined quarters of the home, anywhere, everywhere, even the bathroom towels, toothbrushes, hairbrushes, combs. The cough of a TB sufferer can infect a child's toys. Tuberculosis affects principally the young people of the community, although it can occur at any age. Cleanliness is the first weapon in the fight against TB. The practice of personal cleanliness cannot be overemphasized. 
water and soap repels TB. It's one of the all-important factors in every community effort to stamp out this disease, this disease which kills 20 people in every hundred. Exercise tones up the body and helps keep it fit. But it won't help you much if you tax your strength with overwork. At work or play, overdoing it doesn't pay. When you can, exercise in fresh air. It purifies your blood and your skin absorbs healing vitamins from the sun. Your resistance to TB is lowered when you don't get enough sleep. The tempo of modern life tends to produce that bagged out feeling that drains you of nervous and muscular energy. But your body forces can put up a good fight against TB and actually defeat the enemy within. If you have at least eight hours of relaxed sleep in a well-ventilated room. Drink plenty of milk, avoid refined sugar and eat plenty of fruit and green vegetables. Some of the signals of TB are well known. A cough that lasts as long as four weeks, spitting of blood or phlegm, chest pain, or that unaccountable feeling of being too easily tired. Beware of such signs. Regard any loss of weight as a serious matter. Don't delude yourself into thinking that you have a cold that will pass off. There's only one way to find if your symptoms are caused by TB, and that's to see your doctor. TB is deceptive. Most people who are sufferers appear to radiate good health and an untroubled mind. Don't gamble on appearances. Make sure with a medical examination. If TB strikes in your home, immediate steps must be taken to prevent its spread. TB is contagious. Sterilize all articles used by the sufferer. Ordinary clothing and bed clothing, such as sheets and pillow slips, should be boiled. Make certain to avoid unnecessary contact with the clothing or soiled linen of the infected person. All clothing and bedding material which cannot be sterilized by boiling should be thoroughly aired. Fresh air and sunlight kills the TB germs. TB germs can live for weeks in the dust and crevices of lower walls and floors. Scrub these with hot water and soap and follow up by spraying with a suitable disinfectant. No house or home is safe until this precaution is carried out. Books and magazines which have been handled by the sufferer should be aired. Pages should be shaken to dislodge dust particles bearing unseen germs. Such literature should be kept out of circulation for at least six weeks. Burn all articles used by the sufferer which are of no use. Junk collects dust and disease. For the safety of your health, the government has established an efficient free x-ray service. The service is available to you without having to make an appointment. X-rays are painless and without any personal embarrassment. It only takes a few seconds to take one, a few seconds that may save you years of doubt, worry or sickness. In the past, TB sufferers have been discovered too late because the disease had been present in their lungs long before the outward symptoms became noticeable. Early X-ray detects the disease in its early stages when it can be definitely cured. What will your X-ray show?